This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Luke Campbell, MBE. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good yourself. Yeah, all good. Just want to point out Luke Campbell's not driving, he's a passenger in a car. <laughs> I am the passenger. Um, well, your gym should be quite uh, dead at the moment because everyone's in the fight bubble at the moment. Obviously, ahead of uh, this week's fight night, um, obviously headlined by Lawrence O'Coley's bid to become world champion. Let's start there. It's uh, going to be a tough fight for Lawrence, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, I think it is on paper. But I really believe Lawrence now is um, is coming to his own. And, you know, I've been watching him in the gym more or less all last year and I can see he's improving a hell of a lot and you know I think he's going to take this guy out he, Lawrence has had a little bit of criticism over his career because of his star which we know it's yeah I suppose pleasing on the eye is is questionable but Lawrence is kind of in the short space of fights he's had beaten everyone at domestic level this was kind of now the move on to, to world level, but he's done everything asked of him and he's accomplished quite a lot in that short space of time, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Um, you know, obviously some of his some of his previous fights, you know, hadn't been the most fan friendly fights, but he's he's just gone in there and got the job done. You know, he's got the win. Um, you know, and he's 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 gone up the ladder and now he's fighting for a world title. And it's the best I've seen him look. Mm. Um, obviously, aside from Lawrence, you you have your your teammates uh, Chris Billum Smith and uh, and Anthony Fowler also in action this weekend as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's a McGuigan. It's a McGuigan show, isn't it? <laughs> well, wow, he heavy uh, Shane McGuigan trained fighters, indeed. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. The the boys. I think they're all. They're all looking good. Um, Chris has got a, a tough guy that he's fighting, but I think Chris is coming on loads and it's, it's shown in his previous fights. Um, you know, he's Commonwealth champion now and he wants to climb that ladder. You know, he's in the same category as, as Lawrence, you know, in the same weight class. And he's watching Lawrence go up there and now fight for world t titles. You know, he wants the same thing. And Chris is a uh, Chris Twex. Wakes his socks off, you know. He's in the gym all the time. Uh, he, you know, he puts, he always puts in the work, and I can see, I can see him coming through this fight and progressing on as well. Just want to go back to Lawrence and uh, ask your opinion on some comments that Derek Chisora made. I don't know if you saw them uh, yesterday. Did you see him? No, I, I haven't seen. Well, them. I'll, I'll tell you then. So Derek Chisora gave an interview, and he said that Lawrence should. Beat Glowacki on the weekend and then go and chase Dillian White at heavyweight. That's what Chisora's advice to Lawrence was. What do you think about that, Luke? I think uh, I think Lawrence is certainly big enough to uh, to be in the heavyweight division, and he's got that horrible style, and he, he causes everyone problems. So there's there's no reason we can't move up and and be beating these. Be beating these guys like Dillian White and things like that. Mm. But I, I suppose one thing, step at a time. When Lawrence was asked the question about this, he quite rightly said, "You know, that's all very well. Let me get the job done on on Saturday, and then we'll look at what happens after that." Which is a, obviously a fair comment considering it's fight week. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's he's not looking past this guy, so you know he's got to take one fight as it comes. And he's fighting for his first world title, so all focus is on that. But I'm sure after this fight, I'm sure he'll be uh, he'll be very vocal on that subject. Mm. Interesting to see. But we obviously <laughs> wish uh, Lawrence O'Coley the best of luck in uh, becoming another British champion, uh, world champion this Saturday. Um, yeah. Luke, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, just been. We've just been having a bit of downtime with the family. You know, I was I was away for Christmas and New Year's, um, which was quite stressful for me, being away from my family at at, at that time. So I've just you know I've just been enjoying family time and doing bits and bobs in the gym here and there. 
and that's it really. We, we spoke the, obviously just a few days after the Ryan Garcia fight and would you say like now a couple of months has passed from that that it's kind of out of your system or, or not yet? Yeah, listen, it's, um, it's it's hard when you're used to winning, you know, and I've lost my last two fights, like once against Lemachenko and then against Garcia. You know, the 16-month layoff certainly didn't do me any good. Um, having 16 months off and then going in against Garcia won't, won't the best move. But listen, you know, we got an opportunity and and you take it, you know, it's it, it's during lockdown in the pandemic, you know, you got you gotta take these opportunities and it didn't get it didn't go my way, which I'm obviously I was heartbroken and gutted by. But, you know, we we get up, we dust ourselves off and then we move on. What's the plan for you now, Luke? When are you looking to, to get back into the mix? I'm not sure. Um Funny enough, I had a little chat with Eddie earlier on today, just potentially just seeing what, what options are out there and what, what's the next steps. Um, and then it's just assessing, assessing them options and then looking to make a plan. But, I mean, ideally for you, you want to be as close to world level with your next kind of fight or your next couple of fights as possible because you're so used to kind of fighting these kind of guys that you're talking about. You know, and you've kind of done the, 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 the domestic stuff. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of want to stay where you're at if, if it's possible. Yeah, I want to. That, and that's it. You know, it's, you don't want to drop down to um, less of opponents because you've been fighting the best of the best. And it's like, that's the level I want to be at, you know. But obviously, I, I haven't come through in the last two fights. But um, it's certainly the level I want to be at, you know. What did you get any kind of encouraging words from her today that there could be something for you at some point this year? Yeah, 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 I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to tell us what you we talk, we talk about, obviously, but I mean, they're yeah. talking about Lomachenko and Haney now. I don't know, you know, there's been some little bits of back and forth between us. I mean, is, is that happening? Is that happening? I'd, I'd love for it to happen, you know, because. You see Amy running his mouth all the time about fighting this person, fighting that person. And when he actually fights, he fights no one. So I'd love to see Amy in a test against like Le Lemachenko. You know, I think that'd be a fantastic fight. Mm. And I, I see there's a bit of banter going, going there, going to and from, from them two. But I'd love for him to sit, being a being a test. You know, he's not had one test yet. Do you think that people have been a little bit too dismissive of Lomachenko now since he's lost to Tiafimo Lopez? Because they seem to not mention him in, in the same way as they do the, the Tanks and the Garcias. And, or is that just boxing in general? Is that just how it works? I think that's how life works. You know, you, you're always yesterday's news. And if you're not winning and winning and winning, and the second you lost, that's it, you're done. That is boxing, you know, but a football team. Can, can get beat, can get beat, can win one, get beat, but they can still be one of the best teams there is. You yeah. know, but boxing's different, isn't it? Like, you can win and win and win. You get beat once, that's it, you're finished. Yeah, it's true. It's a football game, but you've got a chance probably three or four days later, with the way the football's working at the moment, to put it right, and people have forgotten about that result. With When you're fighting, you've almost got to wait four, five, six months sometimes to kind of put that right. Exactly. You know, maybe people are talking like that because they see Lemachenko um, in his last fight and he won. He was nowhere near the, the Lemachenko that people see. You know, whether he had that injury going on, uh, going into the fight, who knows? You know, he looked, he did look gun shy. I mean, he didn't throw any punches for seven rounds. I just wish he turned up like that against me because <laughs> I would have beat him too. I'd love for one not to throw no punches for seven rounds. Mm. But I think, listen, regardless of his defeat to, to Lopez, I think Lomachenko is up there as, as much as anyone. And, you so, know. and he's willing to go in the, the ring and fight the best of the best. Mm. And which you can't say that about 98% of them. Mm. 
Okay. Well, um, well, listen, Luke, appreciate your time uh, speaking to us. And uh, have you got anything else you'd like to add before uh, before we go, mate? Yeah, I know. There's congratulations. How's, how's family life going? Yeah, I'm in your gang now, aren't I? Yeah. She's all right. Oh. She's four, just ah. four weeks old now, so. Oh, brill. People brill. tell me that's the easy part. This, this, this the easy part. You, get, you manage to sleep? Yeah, she's not been too bad. She's up once of a night. When we go to bed, she's only up once between us going to oh, bed and getting up. That's great. Hopefully she carries that on. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> You've been through this part now. You're at a different phase of her father. So. Six months. My youngest now. Six months, right now. Months, yeah. So, we get big quick. So, enjoy it. I've noticed. Yeah, the changes are... Um, all right, mate. Well, no problem. Yep, yeah, like I said, yeah, you'll uh, you'll be cheering on your uh, stable mates from uh, from the television. I'm assuming on Saturday. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm trying to get there. Oh, okay. So fingers crossed. So hopefully I'll see you there. I won't be there this weekend. I've got uh, my guy Raza in in the um, in the this week. So. What's that? You're on daddy duties. Yeah, uh, this is my last week to be honest with you. So I've just uh, I've been at home for literally I've been at home. I've missed all the shows up, uh, over the last few weeks, but um, I'll be back next week. So but I'll be watching from home like everyone else. Yeah, well, all right, mate. Well, nice to chat to you. Thank you very much, Luke. And uh, yeah, hopefully we we'll see you in the ring soon. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, Thanks, Luke.